A new training center at the Institute of Technical Education uses virtual reality to teach future aviation workers how to do their jobs without having to step foot in an airport. And that's part of efforts to make sure that their skills are relevant to the industry's changing needs as firms make greater use of technology. This may look like a driving arcade game, but the Transport Minister is actually trying out a simulator that teaches students what it's like driving on an airport tarmac that makes it easier when they go on to learn on the job. And as we build for the future, the workforce at Changi must be equipped with the skill sets to manage more complex operations and at the same time adapt to new processes as well as harness innovative technologies like autonomous and digital solutions as well as initiatives to enhance sustainability. These immersive teaching tools form the new Airport Operations Simulation Training Centre at ITE College East. It will be used in a new diploma that lets students work with companies operating in Changi Airport while they're still studying. For example, they may get real-world experience in handling service disputes at check-in counters. You are interviewed or um, like the resume, you can actually, you know, put in those kind of words saying that you actually have experiences in this kind of uh, jobs area. Aviation companies like Changi Airport Group and Scoot are also helping ITE tailor its coursework to the industry's needs. That's to ensure that students are ready to jump into work once they graduate. Over the past five years, we actually have hired more than 500 ITE graduates as our cabin crew. I think that is really our commitment and our contribution back to the aviation industry in terms of trying to develop a strong talent pipeline. The first batch of students will graduate in 2025. That's the same year Changi Airport begins construction on its new Terminal 5, as it expects travel volume to double over the decade to follow.